So there I was, <laughs> in a strange country, sitting among strangers, on a plane, any altitude, sitting next to people, strapped to a stranger. I'm looking, wondering to myself, what did I do? Is this a bad decision? What was I thinking? Another crazy idea. But that's not where it all started. It started when I was about five years old. I remember having cousins and uncles that were in the military. They had three things in common. They always had a story to tell, they always had a smile on their face, and they always had money in their pocket. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, cuz, come here, let me tell you this, let me tell you this. When I, when, I was, when I was over there, hey, cuz, look at my car. Look at that, you wanna drive it? <laughs> I was at my grandmother's house. I never forget I had a cousin named Anthony. He had his uniform in the room. And I go into the room, and I see his uniform. And I'm looking around, and I'm looking. And I get his hat, and I put his hat on. And I go over to the mirror, and I salute. Now, I was five, so I probably salute with my left hand. <laughs> I salute in the mirror, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna do that when I grow up. Thinking about Anthony, and thinking about my cousins, and thinking about my uncles, that seeded for me the desire to be in the military. First, it was the Cub Scout. Then it was the desire to be in the Boy Scout. Then I joined the Cub Scout, I mean, I'm sorry, I joined Explorer Scout at my local hospital. We went around learning different things about the hospital. But what was the biggest impact for me was a program called Silver Air Patrol. Anybody heard of Silver Air Patrol? Yes. <laughs> I was a cadet in the Silver Air Patrol, and for those who don't know, Silver Air Patrol is an auxiliary of the Air Force. We do search and rescue, we learn about aerospace studies, uh, we do a lot of training and a lot of drills, and uh, we learn a lot about the Air Force. Actually, we were like many Air Force people uh, running around. And uh, I had a chance to go to several summer encampments, and I remember like it was yesterday. We would do marching, and we would do push-ups, and you know, we thought we were in the military, and Top Gun was out during that time, and <laughs> I thought I was the Black Tom Cruise, and I was gonna play volleyball and spike on somebody. <laughs> And uh, uh, what was the catalyst for me, uh, for those that don't know uh, also, is Silver Air Patrol you can join at age, uh, as young as age 12, uh, but uh, most folks were 13, and for me it was 13. And uh, so I joined Silver Air Patrol and I rise through the ranks, and uh, eventually it was me and two other guys, we, we were three cadet cur lieutenant colonels in our squadron down in Albany. And uh, I was selected for this program called International Air Cadet Exchange Program and I was supposed to go to Switzerland with the Swiss family. Uh, it was a husband, a wife, and two kids, and uh, really impressive family. Uh, the husband was a doctor, a lawyer, a pilot, and uh, just did everything. And so he showed us around, we had a really good time, we went hiking, and um, you know, there were three events that were really special to me. Uh, we, we had a chance to go to this aerodium, which is kind of like a, uh, a wind tunnel, uh, we had a chance to go glider on a glider flight. Let me go back to the wind tunnel. So I'm, I'm in the wind tunnel, and I, I remember uh, we're inside. And for those that don't know and haven't experienced it, it's like you're, you're like it's like you're skydiving, and you know you have these big plane engines. And I remember uh, I'm, I'm on on top of the wind tunnel, and he's like spinning me around. I'm like, oh, that's so fun! I'm just just spinning like a like a spinning top, and I'm spinning this way, and I'm spinning that way, and I'm just like smiling from ear to ear. I'm like, wow, this is so cool. And uh, and then we went we went on the glider cloud flight and I thought I was going to like it and I, I didn't really like it. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. And uh, so we, we go back to the wind tunnel, I had so much fun, and he was like, hey, you want to go skydiving? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I want to go skydiving. Yeah. I'm not going to tell my parents about this. If my parents knew about this, they would tell me no, but I'm not going to tell them. So we go skydiving and I'm on the plane and there's other people on the plane and we're sitting there. And I look over and I see two people and they disappear. And I look over again, there are two more people and they disappear. I'm like, whoa, what's this? <laughs> do I really want to do this? Is this a good idea? And so I'm thinking, wow, what, what have I got myself into? I'm strapped to my instructor and I get a tap on my shoulder. <laughs> you know, the old, what the? I'm like, what the? Points towards the the door, I'm like, <laughs> slide towards the door, slide towards the door, and I get over to the door, and I peep out. <laughs> I'm looking like, oh, and I, and I look
look back and I'm like, nah, and I'm just about to say no, he pushes me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh! chest out. And I want everybody to see who I am and take some pictures like I'm in a, in a movie or I've been casted or whatever. And that was so much fun for me and I really enjoyed it. And I asked myself 30 years later, would I do it all over again? And my response is, you bet I would. Thank you very much. Aww.